My name is David Lindner. And my name is Philip Brzezinski. And this is our audio signal processor. Guitarists use many electric effects and amplifiers to produce their sound. We decided to create a device capable of producing a few different sounds digitally in one single package. Our project relies on capturing and reproducing sound. Sound is a continuous wave. Using converters, sound can be represented as voltage as a function of time. However, digital sound is discrete. By sampling the voltage in small enough pieces, the shape of the sound can be represented digitally. Just like integration, the smaller the pieces, the better quality sound you will get. Our project is based around the ATmega88PA chip. In order to read in a signal, we first have to use an analog to digital converter. This converter reads in an analog input and converts it into an 8-bit voltage level from 0 to 255. When it is finished converting, it puts the data on the 8-bit bus and signals the ATmega with an interrupt line, at which point we latch the input and process it. After being processed, the output voltage needs to be output as an analog signal. The ATmega writes this signal to the 8-bit data bus running to the DAC and exerts the write line to tell the DAC to convert it to an analog voltage. This process is executed millions of times per second to create an analog wave that is processed digitally. In order for the ADC to read the guitar properly, the voltage level of the guitar needs to be shifted up and amplified to be within the ADC's reading range. Similarly, the DAC requires an output amplifier in order to be able to drive the speaker without burning itself out. The largest constraint to our project was speed. In order to produce quality sound, a variety of enhancements needed to be implemented to boost the sample rate. Although our microcontroller has an internal A to D converter, an external converter has approximately one hundredth of the setup time. Converters were pipelined so that the next conversion starts directly after it finishes with the current conversion. Finally, we actually chose to use the maximum compiler optimization setting. This made it approximately 12 times faster yet. In the end, we were able to reduce the total conversion time to only a few microseconds. Now we're going to demonstrate the effects. For each effect, we apply a transfer characteristic using a lookup table with the index set to the input voltage. As we demonstrate each effect, we'll show you the transfer characteristic, followed by the oscilloscope reading with the frequency generator hooked up to the device, showing the input voltage on top and the output wave on bottom. Finally, we'll demonstrate with a brief video clip what each effect sounds like with an actual guitar. This first effect is clean, meaning what we input is exactly what we output. It has a linear transfer characteristic. The second effect is meant to emulate a tube amp, or transfer characteristics such as shown below, where it amplifies the sound to clipping, but doesn't quite clip it harshly like you'd get on a solid state device. Change the frequency maybe. The third effect is an interesting effect in that it actually doubles the pitch effectively uh, using the below transfer characteristic. The final effect is similar to the tube effect in that it uses a similar transfer characteristic, but in this one we slow the sample rate down significantly with delays, giving a very, very low resolution sound. This is very similar to what our sound would sound like without the speed optimizations mentioned earlier. This has been a presentation of our audio signal processor. Thank you for watching.